Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the engine compartment of a 96 Toyota Tercel. This engine's a 1.5 liter. It's oriented like this. Its firing order is 1432. It's got 180,000 miles on it. And it's got blow-by on cylinders 1 and 4. What's blow-by? Well, I'm glad you asked. In simple terms, it's when the bang goes around the piston rings and into the engine block. I'm here to show you a real simple way to determine if you have blow-by by checking for it right here. If you look on the fuse block, you can see that it's got an indicator for the starter motor where the relay is. So what I've done is I've pulled that out and in place of the relay that looks like this, I've got a little jumper switch between these two. I've got the key in the on position and we're going to see what blow-by looks like here. We've got a tissue, I've got the oil cap which is basically just a portal or a doorway to the engine crankcase. So with the key in the on position, I hit the starter with the switch. We got it started up. I'm gonna pull this off. We're just gonna crack this a little. See how it's blowing on the tissue. I can't get the tissue in sideways without it going, without it being blown away. See, it kind of blows it and it sucks it. There's just a lot of wind going on there. So that wind is caused by compression gases going around the piston rings into the engine block and then back up around. You've got a bunch of drain back uh, channels that go down from the top of the cylinder head and that air is blowing back up and it fluctuates because each cylinder, you know, for example, the ones that are leaking, um, they don't fire constantly, so there's these puffs of air that go through. Well, that's blow by. That's kind of how you check it. You don't have to have a tissue in your hand. You can just open the cap here, and you can feel it blowing. There's a, a warm wind going by because the compression gases are hot. So even with my glove, I can feel a warm wind. Let's go ahead and turn the engine off. Just unplug the ignition coils here because we're about to take the we're about to take all this out anyway and do a compression test and just verify. These are just real easy. Just 10 millimeter. Just pop them out. I like to use a magnetic parts dish. Let's keep those on the side there. Get these uh, spark plug wires. And then we'll notice. It, um, and the way that the engine works, the two cylinders come up and the two in the middle go down. It's a four cylinder, one, two, three, four. So you go middle ends, middle ends. So the two end ones go together and the two middle ones go together. That makes the engine balanced when it fires. So you'll notice the only reason why I tell you that is this ignition coil fires both of these at the same time. Um, why, why does it fire them both at the same time? Because one fires and the other fires. But if it fires both of them, it runs a little bit cleaner uh, because you get better emissions because anything that's left um, gets uh, burned off. But basically it compresses the air fuel mixture and bang, that's the, the fire stroke. I call it the bang stroke, you know, uh, suck, squeeze, bang, blow. But basically in the in-between stroke when it's coming up, the dead stroke, you know, if it fires after an exhaust stroke or something like that, it helps to clean anything up and it contributes to power, so it's a good idea. So you know that this one goes in the middle together like that and not like that. Probably too much information, but why not? Alright, so you can just lay them out the same way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the spark plugs out. This engine's pretty much shot, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, you don't want to use an impact initially because if you have a bad, if you have a, a bad plug that's just really stuck in there, you want to know that. You want to be able to back it up, put in some lubricant, tighten it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, get it out that way. So I'm just checking, making sure these are turning fine. Turns out they are. Ooh, something's wrong in there. What happened there? We probably got a little piece of a boot stuck in there, didn't we? So that's from this one. So we got boots on both of them. There shouldn't be a problem. I don't see anything in here. What's going on in there? What a little stinker. 
Well, whatever he's got, the other has it too. Let's get a flashlight, take a look, put some eyes on this. So looking down the hole, the frickin' insert came out with the spark plug wires. That's what sucks about working on nasty busted old cars is that if somebody drives a nasty busted old car, they're not gonna want to pay for new wires. I twisted them, the twist should be enough to get that to come out clean. But guess what? It wasn't. That's life. So these are just the ends of the spark plug wires. I actually have a video on how to do this. I'll put it in the description. Put a link to it. To the magnet dish. Woohoo! You guys want to see the relay switch that I have? What I was cranking the engine over with. I'm going to use it to do the... See, here we go. So you already know about blow by, you can stick around if you want, I'll throw in some more information, why not? So I just put this in there, it's just got a switch, as long as that's in that on position, it'll keep cranking, so I just, oh, it sounds like it's on, just like if you're cranking the key for a little bit. So this way I can control how long it goes for the compression test, and see just how bad it is. Evidence! Come on now. Oh, this car is so short and I'm so tall. My back says, why are you doing this? Why even bother? My brain says, because it's fun. I like to play cars. Besides, this would be a fun video. <laughs> so there's your plugs, they're toast. That's part of it. So the half the smoke's oil, half the smoke is unburned fuel. It needs new plugs pretty bad. When you, the Toyota plugs are supposed to be nice and round in the middle. You see how that looks like a knife blade? It's for shit sold. It's worn out. It's done. Right, so we'll just get these things pulled around here. Kind of funny to do a tune up on an engine that's shot. Bad blow by and no compression, you know. Look how oily that one is. Number one's shot. All right, now why am I not picking out all these plugs? Did I not get this one out far enough, perhaps? I should have a rubber boot in there that grabs the plug. And there is, but it just doesn't. See, look how covered that is. So he's getting horrible gas mileage because he's got a power loss for one. And then on top of that, power loss and just dumping oil. Good thing oil's free, huh? Oh wait, it's not, it's expensive. So yeah, he's probably paying more than he needs to be paying on upkeep for this. And he's polluting the sh living crap out of this area. We got the sixth worst air pollution in, this, in the country, and this is why. <laughs> A car like this that's burning dirty, especially with it burning oil and fuel, it completes as much as 100, 150 times as much as other cars. That's bad. So, anyway, you ever see these stickers on a Toyota on the valve cover? Where it shows, don't use a regular kind of spark plug, make sure you use this kind. You see how square that looks? That's how your spark plugs are supposed to look. And then, this is how they actually look. And I think these burned out as bad as they did and as hard as they did. Uh, because of the oil. You don't see a lot of discoloration on the porcelain. I don't think the plugs are that old. But if that fire's always burning on it and they're cherry red all the time, then there's a pretty good chance that uh, that's burning them out a little bit faster than it should. So, so the complaint is, is that he's got some trouble starting. It's hard starting and just that uh, it's going through oil after about 700 miles almost all the oil has gone so I've got my compression tester and I've got it set to just sit in there this is a quick and dirty one that I like to do for four cylinders because they're so quick and dirty so I'll tuck the throttle cable out of the way I'm going to turn the key off too All right, so the emergency brake's on. I've double checked that it's in neutral. I'm gonna put this in there, do a little twisting, make sure it sits down in that uh, little V. When spark plug goes in, I'm gonna hit my switch. I'm gonna go one, 1,000, two, 1,000, 
and the battery's dead. I'm going to throw the charger on it. See how we got a dead battery, a bad engine? He's in a bad way. <laughs> and it's desperate for a tune up. Let's put a charger on and we'll come back to this. All right, so we've got a fully charged battery. Let's go ahead and do this thing, shall we? Of course, the phone's going to blow up. That's just the way it goes. <clears throat> so we've got the compression tester in, the keys off, the vehicle's in neutral. I've got my relay with the switch in it. Hold down here. So looking at that, we have a whopping 60 PSI. Cylinder 1 is shot. So let's check the others out and see what they look like, shall we? Sounds like our battery charger just kicked in and so did the furnace. Whoa, there's a fighter. Looking at this, we've got about 160 PSI or so. It's up there pretty good. Let's see what's in hole number three. About 150. It's okay. Oh, oh cylinder force hurt. Look at that one. That's a, about 75. So, middle's good, the bat, outsides are just shot. So, if you want to figure out where it's coming from, you get your compression tester kit and you can just screw this down in the hole and run compressed air in there and see where it's coming from but basically if you were to take this and rotate the engine until it was in the closed position for number one and number four you just have a raging torrent of air coming out the end here we can try that i don't know if i want to though hmm. Anyway, I think this video is probably long enough. Everybody's getting bored and clicking away, so I'll just bid you adieu and encourage you to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and uh, Wednesday I kind of do whatever the heck I want. Sunday I usually do a nice cut polish video like this one. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for bonus footage.
to me a little bit. Back in one piece. Bring him back alive. Yeah. She was pretty worried about him. <laughs> <laughs>